Hada sabt gringa kambe balnayu, and um, I will try to read it in English. Um, we already know the word. Probably we have read it many times in our life, uh, but I am sure we will learn something new because the Bible tells us the word of God is always new. It's always new. It's always uh, inspiring. So I will. Um, but in case in the meantime, the people who are around the right person will just. Try to check because I might forget especially verses, Malad. Uh, we will read from uh, 3, chapter 4, from 3 to 9. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, ሰማው <laughs> Gali duma abtubuk midwadaga zubokulin zaabin firaha habe galiu salasa galiha susa galiha meet fare. Okay, um, is there anyone with better accent than me or? Okay, so from one to nine. From three to nine, sorry. Maybe this part I will read it, but the next be ready, yeah? From nine, just to save time. Listen, behold, a sower went out to sow, and it happened as he sowed that some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds of the air came and devoured it. Some fell on a stony ground where it didn't have much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had no depths of the earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched and because it had no roots withered away. And some seed fell among the sun, and the sun grew up and choked it, and it yielded no crop. But other seed fell on the good ground and yielded a crop, a crop that sprang up, increased, and produced some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some hundred. And he said to them, He who has ears, hear. Let him hear the purpose of the parable. Okay, um, it's explanation from 13, from 19 also clearly. When now uh, we will uh, we read it because it's a direct translation. We cannot translate it, yeah. Um, but we see here a soul, which is zarai in Tigrinya, and a seed, and also four kind of. Grounds. So we will see one by one, especially the grounds. Um, but before I proceed, probably um, let's continue like what the explanation is. So we can have some ideas and we will go one by one. Yeah? Uh, from 13, Kab Asar Celeste, Shaloma, Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry, تزرع طعام قد زلوا زيعتهم يوم مسمع بوبو سيدان نتيو نتي أب لبوم تزرع قامي وصلوا كم خا أتوم أب كوحي تزرع قازي عتهم يوم 
نتقال من السمع بوبو بحاجوس يقبلوه شعو يوم شعو يوم انبر سوريا بلومن دحر سلا تقال مكرا ويس سدت مسكونه قطيفهم ينقفوا اوتوم اب اوتوم اب شوخ تزرو دمازي اتوم يوم نتقال السمع وان اتوم اب شوخ تزرو دمازي اتوم يوم نتقال سمعوا حالت زعلم زيا نعشو هبتن قال تمنيتن اتيقا نتقال يحنقو فرزي بلو دما يخون اتوم اب طبق مدري تزرو خا زيا اتوم يوم نتقال سمعوا زقبلون فرخا زفورين قال يو سالاسا قال يو سسا قال يو ميتي بانجلش قلت في الكم بالله يا وحلا from 13 to 19 very quickly yeah then jesus said to them don't you understand this parable how then will you understand any parable the father no the father farmer sows the word some people are like seed along the path where the word is sown as soon as they hear it satan comes and takes it away the word that was sown in them others like seeds sown on rocky places hear the word and at once received it with joy but since they do since they have no root they last only a short time when trouble or persecution come because of the word they quickly fall away still others like seed sown among thorns hear the word but the worries of this life the deceitfulness of wealth and desire for other things come in and choke the world making it unfruitful others like seeds sown on good soil hear the word accept it and produce a crop some 30 some 60 some 100 times what was sown okay thank you god bless you okay so the bible has shown us four kind of grounds and there is a seed there is a sower also yeah the sower is the lord himself and the seed is the word of god it's very clear it's very straight knowledge i'm not going to talk about the lord here i'm going to take up talk about the seed and because we don't have time anyway yeah so the seed probably a bit background to give you the word what is the word of god the word of god is also symbolized or it is ex plain it in different ways it is the light the bible tells us the word of god is a light your word is light it gives us light yeah it enlightens us the spiritual yeah qal kan egrey mabrati yun mengede ibrahim i will try to just mix together yeah to be fair malet for both um it is a way also it is the only way through which we know god it is the only way we go to heaven by faith yeah once we hear so it is the way it is a spirit by itself yeah my words are a spirit ilu malati it is a spirit it's not a physical thing um it's a creator everything is created by the word of god um, i because we don't have time i cannot give you a verse for everything yeah we cannot read and it also a purifier it purifies us because of my word you are pure ilu malati he sent his word and he prefaces us it's um a wisdom by itself yeah it makes me wiser than my teachers it tells us it makes you wise it's a weapon also the word of god is a weapon through which we fight our enemies you remember when jesus was tempted he was telling the devil it is written it's written it's written yeah through the word it's a sword un iblana malet the word of god is also a sword so it's a spiritual weapon where we fight the spiritual realm not only a spiritual even in this world by itself yeah it could be emotional it could be anything the wisdom we get the brain we have different questions or stress it's through the word we get peace we get everything um 
I'll just only read one, which is very important. All are important, but especially to the context of this one, it is food also. It's a spiritual food. Uh, in Matthew 4, if you, rem you remember it, the, the verse, so I'm not going to read it. Um, when the devil tempted Jesus, he has been fasting for 40 days, and he said, change this stone to bread. And what did Jesus reply to him? It's not only through food or through bread, but by the word of God. People or human lives not only by the physical being lives physical bread, the spiritual. So it is a spiritual bread to survive. And in First Peter, second, I'll read just one verse to save. So it's, it's already I have opened it and I'm going to read for you. Um, I think I, I had second Peter, so I'm going to read first Peter. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, all evil, speaking, as a new babies, desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow there. As a new babies, desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow. So it's only through the word of God. If you see a baby, I had four babies. So I know how they desire the milk when they are. When they wake up, it's milk. When they cry, it's milk, breastfeeding, or artificial milk, it doesn't matter. Anytime, you always you have to feed them, because that is the only way they grow, that is the only way that makes them settle. So in the spiritual realm, we are also like that. We need to desire it. We need to desire it day and night, so we can grow through it. So that is the food, the spiritual food that we need or the seed that the Bible is telling us. So this is the seed. I could say a lot, probably some other day in future or some preachers they will tell you, especially if you read Psalm 119, it's exclusively talking about the word of God, the law of God. You will, you will learn a lot. It's a treasure. It's, it's everything. You will find it there. Um, but today I will focus on the ground or the listeners. So the first one is the wayside. Um, if you go to the rural area, especially in the old age, the wayside is usually, it's very clear. It's very visible. You find like the agriculture here, the plowed, whatever. The wayside is very narrow but very clean, but very also kind of um, dried because people step on it, walk on it, it means. Okay, when it comes to this country probably, I would say that one is like the motorway, let's say, let's put it that way. Or because most people, they drive a car, you cannot put anything there. Anything you put there, it will be crushed or it will be taken. In you don't live in back home, you, if you leave it in the um, wayside, there is no way you will find it back, unless you are lucky. Um, people might take it, but because most people are anyway good people, maybe they will bring it to the village or whatever. It doesn't mean they will steal it. But most likely it will be found easily. And the seeds also, you put them, they are very visible. If You may not see the, about the birds. You may not read, you may not have learned a lot about the birds. But the birds have special eyes. So from the top, they can see it because it is very visible. So that's why it is saying, some, it will be fallen on the wayside. That means those people, they reject it. The people who reject the word of God, 
are symbolized as the wayside. Some, I'm, I'm I'll try to give you some example from each. So one example is the Pharisees. Typical example is Mark 3, 5 to 7. If someone can read for me. Because these people, they don't have interest to hear. They come to the temple, but they come for a reason not to learn the word of God. To resist Jesus. They have other purpose, Malaj. Their interest is more in important than God's business. Their business is more important. Um, did someone find it for me? So, Mark 3, 5, 7. But in English, no? Yep. Well, I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to concept it. But in the book, I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going Okay. Yeah. But he was very angry because of their hardened heart. He took he looked around at them. He looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts. Yeah said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. Then yep. the Pharisees went out. So I will give you like the background. Thank you. So what, what I need is he was very angry with their hardened hearts. Because their heart was hardened. Before that, if you go chapter um, 2, the whole chapter, they have resisted Jesus four times. Um, at one time, when he healed the paralyzed, at the beginning, then they said, why did he say for, instead of, when someone is paralyzed, and when someone is healed, the people, you remember, they threw it, him through the um, ceiling. So instead of being amazed, they said, why did you say, I f you forgive, or whatever. And on the second why did your um, followers are not fasting? On the third occasion, um, they were testing him. They ate on the Sabbath. This is, this is the, the fourth or the fifth occasion also within one chapter. They were looking, okay, this guy is limp or his hand is, he doesn't have a hand. Is he going to heal him? or not on the Sabbath. They are not interested about it. the word of God, the miracle, the marvelous thing that the Lord is going to do. But they were looking a reason to resist Jesus. There are people now in the world, you will find them. Whatever reason he brought, they will not listen. But they will always resist. They will always reject. So this kind of people, None of us are like that, so praise the Lord. But you'll find them, because people are classified in this part. When I'm saying, I'm hoping, oh, I'm, and most of you, I know you also, so I don't know the heart of the people, but yeah, most people, they come to the word of God for looking the Lord. There could be some people coming to the church. I think in the past, people used to come for some reason the adults know some of them they remain here just to get a support letter they used to come i'm not going to go further to that but people used to come to church for another reason their intention is not to the word of god not to worship it's the same like the pharaoh's manager and the word will not work because their heart is already blocking the lord When we were kids, I remember um, it has nothing to do with the word of God, but just take it only the lesson. So my father used to tell us to study, like I do now with my children, actually. Yeah. So and like any child, we want to have fun. We want to have. Then, when dad comes, I have a younger brother. So we have like a year and a half difference. We used to go. And we used to sit 
acting like as we were, reading, or because he always tell us to study. So one day, when my dad came, we just sit where we sit, and I start to read, acting anyway, but still, I was reading. And my brother, because we were playing outside, there was no games, there was nothing at that time, like um, the game now, now, electronics, so we were lucky. My brother flipped his exercise, and he was doing like this. I was the only one which I can see, like the handwriting and everything is flipped. So I knew his mind is somewhere. It's like you are somewhere. You, you, could, you could act like you are reading, yeah? You cannot cheat, cheat God anyway. You could cheat people, yeah? People, they come to church. People, they, um, they come to different places. They can act as believers, but there is no way you can act cheats the Lord, yeah? You can mislead. So this verse remind me like what we used to do anyway. But now my brother later, he's, he graduated or whatever, but on, I'm talking only about that specific situation, man, yeah? Okay, he was not a bad student. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, the second one is the rocky one. Um, the rocky one is um, people, they listen. They are happy, it says, but immediately they will forget it. There is no, it's a rocky is usually in our country. It's not completely a rock. A rocky is like, you cannot dig it down. So it cannot be rooted. So they listen happily, but after that, it will disappear. Most Habesha people, not the church here, but in most, most people, they will listen. When they listen, parents, grandparents, how do they listen? Have you ever heard that uh, word? Even in church, they will do. Then my grandparents, I used to go to church. Then they, when you hear their, then when you go, when you come home, when the coffee starts, then the backbiting starts the mehmai, the whatever, yeah? <laughs> so, like in church, they are very good, like Paul, it says. But in real life, uh, some people, they said something, I'm not going to say it, but yeah. So, but they can listen, but it will not go down to the roots. So there is no, there is no opportunity to be. What um, to be grown. So, th so that's why the Bible says, okay, because of different temptation, they will not stand, it says. So they have their own different temptation in life. So there is no way they give a heart to be fruitful, to go down and to change them. I can give you many, um, but some examples just, um, Lot's wife, for instance, Yep, she took the instruction. The angels told them, the family, go ahead, do not stop, do not go back, or do not look. The others were going, but she didn't follow the instruction. She started the inst with the instruction, but she turned it back, and you know what happened to her malady. Um, some of the Hebrew leaders, and also most of during Jesus' time, most of the Jewish were like this. They follow Jesus, they listen. Those who act on it and being fruitful or disciples, they were few. But most of them, they are happy even to learn. But the word doesn't go detail because they didn't give. If enough space, um, I can give you a verse which is John twelve forty two. If someone quickly read for me, because the Bible tells us they knew Jesus is the Messiah, but they didn't want to admit because the fear of the Jewish. 
So they will be excluded uh, 1242. Yep. Many of them, they believe, but they didn't want, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, at the time, many even among the leaders believed in him. But, but because of the Pharisees, they would not confess their faith for fear. They would, put, they would be put out of the synagogue. For they, for they loved praise from men more than praise from God. Yeah, thank you. That's, that should be enough. Thank you. So most of the listeners, even from the leaders, it says, including from the leaders, they knew Jesus is a Messiah. They knew Jesus is the one which comes, but they didn't want to admit publicly because they will be excluded from the synagogue. The synagogue is like the most powerful at that time for to get a religious services, so they will not be excluded. It's a big, strong community spiritually and politically at that time. But they want their status to be kept. They want their life to continue. They will not kill them, but still, they want their glory. So they didn't want to pay the price. So some people, they know the truth. Some people, they listen, they know. It's, it is a true, it's the light, but they didn't want to open because if you pass that, then as a Christian, you will pay something. Might, you might be excluded, you might be um, considered as uncivilized or whatever reasons, different reasons it could be. Yeah? But the last one is the most important. The third one is the most important thing also. Um, because this is the sword, which is very um, important for us. The sword is sometimes we find ourselves in this. The ground is okay. Yeah, they have good heart. The ground, still there is a root, still it can grow, but the above part is not okay. So there is something above it. Even they have the desire, even it starts to grow, but not to be fruitful, there is a thorn. When there is a shock, it's very difficult for the plant to go. It cannot go from here. Shah is it's very sharp. It's always whenever it comes, stay there, stay there. So it's always fighting Allah Malaj. And the sun or whatever the basic need, it protects Malaj. So this is like the England team Dori Mamalo. They are good starting, but not very good in finishing. Football, the Euro football, last time you have seen, how many times? Eh? Like, oh, it's coming home, it's coming home, the second time. So they are good in starting, but in finishing. I am in painting, I am very good in painting, but finishing, I am like the worst. If I used to have my house like the white, and was it a cream or whatever, yeah? So when I paint this and this, sometimes the white goes to there, and especially the corner, good painter, you will never find a fault. Any, any house you go, you will find like, especially with the corners, yeah? At the beginning before many years, when you come to my house, you will find God bless you, usually people, they help me here. But you'll find like the corner, especially the kitchen, it's the worst finish manage. Now I think everything's the same, I don't, I'm not worried yet. 
<laughs> people will not realize like whether I am good in finishing or not. So in most time, th this is about finishing money or providing fruits. There are people you tell them like when I was young, I was like excellent in school. Yeah, very good achiever. But have you finished at the end? They tell you, no, when I was in this uh, year 11, year whatever, when I in uni, this happened, so I didn't finish it. But that doesn't matter. The most important thing is finishing humanity. You were very good the whole high school, but if you don't achieve at the end, if you don't go to uni, and if you don't achieve something, that doesn't count because you have year five, year six in grammar school, the highest nerka, they will not give you a job money. That's a lesson also for the, the young kids. But finishing is the most, in Christianity, finishing is also the most important money. The fruits. Yep, like ex genius students, mallet. But there are people like that. First Timothy 14, Demas is one of the servants of the Lord. Actually, he's not only a Christian, he was a missionary. He used to serve with Paul. He's being mentioned probably two or three times, but this is the most important that we are going to see it. Demas has left because he loved the world or Thessalonians. Um, Second Timetius 14. Demas, Naza Alam Zia, Keltifka Navai Kmetz Fetan, Demas, Naza Alam Zia, Feti Waimo, Hadigani Napsolin Kewan Kade, Kriskis Nav Galatia, Titus Nav Dalmatia Kedu. Yeah, uh, the, tigri, the English version. Demas left me having love the world and went to Thessalonica, Crescent, Crescent. Yeah, don't worry. To Galatia and Titus to Dalamani. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll repeat it. Um, For Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world, and has departed for Thessalonica. Thessalonica. Yeah? Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world. So he is telling Timothy, please be, come quickly, I'm by myself, you don't manage. And the others, Titus and Dalima, Duma, they went for Galatia, but they, it's not because they um, love the world. They have another mission, man. So I'm by myself. Demas was supposed to go with me, but because he loved this world, he has left Jesus. He was serving the Lord. He was a missionary. He was going, but there was a sword that captured him. So it took him back not to go. The others, we, uh, we can bring so many. The rich man, yeah, he was a nice guy. He heard the word of God. And when Jesus told him, sell everything and come to me, follow me. And he was very upset because he has so many wells. So there will be a time, a wells or Jesus. In the Bible study, when we learn, we learn also about Judah. Yeah, Judah was one of the twelve. And he used to pick some money. One day when they offer him 
a big money that can buy a land, he sold Jesus. Jesus or money. So if something is, you think is imp more important than Jesus, then that is the soul. That is the thing that will depart us from the word of God to grow, to produce, and to follow Jesus' knowledge. So it could be anything. It could be the peers. It could be social media. It could be anything. When you want to read the Bible, what is dragging you behind? When you want to worship the Lord, what is dragging you behind? If something is more taking you or making you more addictive, that is the sword. And you need to pray the Lord to take it out, yeah? So that is the most important thing in this world. Like Jesus is the most important. The word of God is the most important thing. Because everything is perishable. The word of God is, will never perish. According to the Bible, it tells us the beauty of the world, the whole world by itself is, it is like a flower, it says. It will come back and it will disappear, it says. But the word of God lives forever. The last one is the most important, which we are. Yeah? The good soil which produce fruits. I'm going to read one verse I'll give you in the lady that we need to learn from. Um, there are so many people I can mention or you know them, but one lady we will, uh, that is Lydia, Act 16, 13, 15. Act 16. عصر شو دشت قب عصر ثلاثة سجاب عصر تحمشتة شو قصر ربع عون عب أخلا نحن دق معنا in fourteen then I will try to بما علتي سنبت كا كاب عنك يا تختم أو تينا أبتغى تيجلو زق برو لزنا برو ربع تغميتنا نتون أقوى تانسي تزاربنا لديات بحال نعمل أتفر سبيتي بعد ختم تياترا شاعت إت أي حرة أنت بل نبرت نفط بأولس زبلو زنبرة كتده بكاء أجزية به اللبا كفتلة نسام صدر أبي تامستات أم كت كاء كم أمانيت قيتاري يخو من ينتقونكم سي نبيت أتيهم تعمتو إلى لما نتوم قدون بلتهم. yeah on the day on the Sabbath day, we went outside of the city by a riverside where we supposed there was a place of prayer. And we sat down and spoke to the woman who had come together. A certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Thyatira, one who worshipped God, heard us. The Lord opened her heart to listen to the things which were spoken by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she begged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful, faithful to the Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, verse, verse 14, I will add, then I will explain. So they went out the prison and entered the house of Lydia. When they had seen the brethren, they encouraged them and departed. So this is after they were um, discharged from the prison. So they went, she already received the Lord and she already gave her house to the brethren. When they were discharged within the same chapter, then we see they were, um, when they entered the house of Lydia, when they had seen the brethren, they encouraged them and departed. So they were encouraged, actually, by seeing this. Yeah. So Lydia was a businesswoman, and she was a businesswoman. She was selling a purple 
Uh, I like the Tigrinya one. I think the Tigrinya one is probably translated from the. I tried to find it from the English. It it didn't give me that much impression. I, I will tell you why, because it is telling only um, in verse fourteen. Um, the seller of purple from the city of Tiatra. It doesn't say any har, hari, uh, silk. In that English, in the Tigrinya one, it mentions a silk. She was a seller of qayh, silk, purple silk. She was a business woman. And this clothing was very expensive at that time. If you want Luke 16, 19, go and find it about the rich man who wears a purple clothes. So it's only the rich every day he wears. Can someone read for me? So it's just to confirm. Yeah? So it's only special people wear. It's a status. So many people were in the Bible mentioned, yeah? But their profession is not that much mentioned. But Lydia's profession is mentioned specifically. There is a reason for that. Yep. There was, there was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. Yeah. So about the rich man when he talks, he wears purple clothes it's not like now technology people used to make colorful or purple and also the silk so that is like the highest status people they wear yeah probably the other from um the people like john the baptist yeah the bible tells us the people who cannot afford it or the ships or whatever they make it but this one is it's only if during that time the Greeks technology was very high they were still under the Roman Empire but she was a business woman on that assume that in this time what is the highest status people there? Lamborghini or Baguette or what? What do you call it? <laughs> Baguette. <laughs> I, I, I don't really know. I always tell them people, I'm interested on the price of spaghetti and baguette, especially. Lumiel always say, oh, this baguette is whatever thousand, or he always that malady. So the, she was the selling of those high class things, malady. The people who by the high classes. So that's why she told them to come to their house and she gave her house also. But those world's things, it didn't hold her from following Jesus' humanity. Actually, it was in the high peak of persecution of Zinabara Luwan humanity. There was a very high persecution at that time. Immediately after her, because they were going from place to place because they were persecuted. But she didn't care. She didn't care about her status. She didn't care about her wealth. She didn't care about anything. So she was attentively listening. In the English, it says she was listening or hearing. Attentively. Then the Lord opened her heart. So she was giving special attention, it says. When it comes to the word of God, she was giving a special attention. So this, this is one thing we learn from Lydia. We can go to Zacchaeus. I think my time is almost on, so I don't think so I will go from now, but I will give you only the, those who are writing. Yeah? Zacchaeus, Luke 19, you can go. When the word of God was given to him, when Jesus came to him, he completely moved he took action he changed it yeah instead of he was taking money he starts to give 
The Berean people, Act 1710, their heart was very genuine. They were checking if the word is like that. So they were giving their heart. Noah, Genesis 6, when he was making the ark, God gave him clear instruction. It took him years and years. So he gave special attention to the word of God. It doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter what his labor says. It costs him a lot of things, family thing. We can't mention so many things, yeah? Everything was dry, but because the word of God says, has said, every day he was hammering, he was nailing, he was making the ark. And the other is on chapter 17, God told him also to bring from all animals, male, female, male, females, two, two, four sums, even four, yeah? And he was collecting because God has said. So he was following the instruction of God, Malachi. So he gave to God more attention and he became fruitful and he saved actually the whole world, Malachi. Anna, look to, you can go. She was a widow. After seven years, probably she was, when she got married, she was 20, let, let's say the latest in that time, that's how they get married. By 27, she became widow. I'm not sure like if it's 20, but I'm taking just that number, or it could be 18, yeah? From that use, from early 20s or mid 20s until 84, around 60 years, she served the Lord. She left everything. And the Bible tells us every day she was praying and worshiping. She could complain to the Lord, yeah? Why did you kill my husband? She has a right. A widow means her husband died. It's not like divorcee, he left her. So she could, maybe by disease, accident, we don't know. It's not being mentioned. She has a right. She, no, no, not she has a right, but like other people, she could do. But instead of complaining, she changed her stress or her um, losing her husband towards the Lord. Yep, serving. So we could say a lot, Mary, we could say, we could mention a lot of people, but those people, why they become fruitful is they gave their time to the Lord. God bless you. Shalom, how now? I'm the Maskin and I select all the mobs to green your mo. Select a shirin malet, Tabaro, Guetabarco.